You are the architect of your own reality. Right here, right now, you possess the extraordinary ability to shape your future. The universe stands poised, ready for you to tap into its limitless potential. This is not just a philosophical notion. It is deeply rooted in the principles of quantum physics, revealing the pathway to a life that exceeds your wildest dreams. In the midst of life's hustle and chaos, we often find ourselves trying to meticulously orchestrate every detail, caught in a cycle of planning, stressing, and fretting about outcomes. We forget there's a grander scheme unfolding, one that we cannot always perceive. But what if we chose to release our grip, to relax, and to trust the universe? Letting go doesn't mean abandoning our intentions, rather it signifies surrendering the need to control every twist and turn of our journey. It's about flowing with the rhythm of life and embracing the beauty of uncertainty. In this space of surrender we find peace, not the kind of peace that comes from controlling or forcing outcomes, but a deeper, more profound peace that arises from letting go. It's the peace that emerges when we accept we've done everything we can and we trust that what unfolds next is beyond our control. It is a surrender to the present moment where we release our need to manipulate or dictate and instead open ourselves to the flow of life. When we step away from the constant need to control, something beautiful happens. We invite relaxation, not just on the surface, but at the very core of our being. This is the kind of tranquility that emanates from a deep understanding that everything is unfolding just as it's meant to. As we let go of stress, worry, and anxiety, we make space for the joy and peace that are available to us right now. We breathe deeply, knowing that the universe is on our side, orchestrating everything in perfect harmony. Trusting in the universe is the key to unlocking this transformative experience. It's a trust that goes beyond what we can see, beyond the immediate challenges we face. It's knowing deep in our bones that there is a greater purpose and a higher plan unfolding, even when the road ahead seems unclear. Trust is the belief that every moment, every challenge, and every experience is working in our favor, guiding us toward our highest potential. When we let go, when we surrender and trust the universe, we begin to align with something far greater than ourselves, an invisible force of love, wisdom, and support. This is when life becomes a dance rather than a struggle. We stop fighting against the current and begin to flow with it. Remember, every thought, every emotion, every signal we send out is felt by the universe. The question is, what signal are you broadcasting? Is it one of fear and limitation or one of abundance and possibility? The universe is listening to you at all times, waiting for you to align with your true potential. The quantum field is a space where all things are possible. It's an invisible web of energy, a vast ocean of infinite potential that connects all of us. In this field, versions of you already exist. Versions of you that have achieved your dreams, overcome every obstacle, and are living in perfect harmony and health. These versions of you are not somewhere far off. They are present right now in the quantum field, waiting for you to tap into them. So how do we access this field and align with the life we truly desire? It starts with your thoughts and emotions. When you shift your inner state, your external reality must follow. This isn't about wishful thinking or mindlessly repeating positive affirmations. It's about aligning your mind and body with the version of yourself you want to become so deeply and completely that it feels as if it's already happening. This is the power of quantum meditation. Meditation quiets the noise of the mind and opens the door to infinite possibilities. Much like walking into a dark room and knowing that somewhere in the room is a light switch. When you turn that switch on, the whole room illuminates, revealing all that was waiting to be seen. But seeing isn't enough. We must feel it. In the quantum field, there is no separation between who you are and who you want to be. Everything you desire already exists in this moment. Your job is to tune in, to align with that frequency, to become it. Think of it like tuning into a radio station. You can't listen to every station at once, but you can choose the one you want and immerse yourself in it. Through meditation, you consciously choose the version of yourself you want to experience and begin living it through your thoughts and feelings. The common mindset is, I'll believe it when I see it. But in the quantum world, the reverse is true. You must believe it first, and then you will see it. You have to feel it, embody it, 
live it before it can manifest in your reality. This is the power of alignment. When you step into this journey, when you trust the process and surrender to the flow, the universe will begin to align with you and you will witness the extraordinary unfold in your life. In your physical reality, this isn't just spiritual chatter, it's firmly rooted in the principles of quantum physics. The fundamental truth is that the observer influences the observed. Our consciousness actively shapes the reality we experience. So, how do we harness this profound knowledge? It begins with clarity. You must understand what truly ignites your passion and inspiration, not what you think you should desire or what others expect of you, but what genuinely lights you up from within. Once you gain that clarity, create a vivid vision in your mind, one so rich and detailed that your body begins to respond as if it's already unfolding. Your body cannot distinguish between a real experience and a vividly imagined one. When you meditate and visualize your desired future with all your senses engaged, your body releases the same chemicals and hormones as if that future were occurring right now. As you commit to this practice, something remarkable begins to occur. You start to shift the very energy that surrounds you, broadcasting a new frequency into the world. This is the essence of the law of attraction, like attracts like. When you change the energy you emit, you change the experiences that come to you. But let me be clear, this isn't a quick fix. Transformation isn't something that happens with a single effort or a sporadic moment of intention. Just like you wouldn't expect to get physically fit after one workout, you can't expect to create lasting change in your life by meditating once in a while. It takes a consistent daily commitment. You must step outside your comfort zone, detach from old emotional habits, and focus on your breath. You enter a relaxed state where your mind is free to imagine and create the reality you desire. This practice isn't about neglecting your current responsibilities or denying the life you're living. It's about taking intentional moments in your day to envision the future you wish to create. You're not escaping reality. You're stepping into a higher version of it. You're choosing to live from a place of empowerment, not from a place of stress, fear, or worry. Think about it. Every great accomplishment in human history began as a thought. The Wright brothers envisioned flight long before it became a reality. Martin Luther King Jr. envisioned a world of equality before it was ever actualized. Every change maker in history first had a vision, something that once seemed impossible. You hold that same creative power within you. You too can envision a new reality and bring it to life, but this requires courage. It takes bravery to step away from the known, to move beyond old habits and patterns of thinking. Comfort, my friends, is the enemy of growth. To create a new reality, you must be willing to release the old and step into the unknown with trust and faith in yourself and the infinite possibilities that the universe holds. Transformation demands that you approach things from a different perspective. Many people begin with great excitement and enthusiasm only to falter when they don't see immediate results. But this is where persistence is key. Change doesn't happen overnight, just as a seed doesn't grow into a tree in a single day. If you've been thinking the same thoughts and feeling the same emotions for years, you've wired your brain to expect certain outcomes. You've conditioned your body to respond a certain way. You can't just expect that to change instantly. But here's the good news. The brain is adaptable. Every time you meditate, every time you focus on your desired reality, you are creating new neural pathways. You are rewiring your brain. With consistent practice, these new pathways become stronger and the old ones begin to fade away. It takes time, but with commitment, change is inevitable. You must continue even when it seems like nothing is shifting and when the world around you doesn't immediately reflect your inner work. Trust that the inner transformation is taking place because that's where the real magic happens. Internal changes always precede external ones. Now let's talk about emotions. Emotions are the body's language the bridge that connects our thoughts to our physical reality. When you can genuinely feel the emotions tied to the future you desire, when you can feel it as if it's already happening, you send a powerful signal to the universe. But this cannot be faked. You can't just plaster a smile on your face and pretend to be happy if deep down you're upset. The universe responds to your true energy, not just to your outward appearance. It's essential to feel the emotions of your desired reality. When you envision abundance, don't just see money in your bank account. Feel the freedom, the security, and the joy that accompany it. When you imagine vibrant health, 
Don't just picture a strong body. Feel the vitality, the energy, and the zest for life that come with it. This is the power of feeling. This is where you align your inner world with the world you want to create. Your reality will shift when you consistently practice this inner transformation. When you focus on the energy you're broadcasting, when you authentically embody the emotions of your future self, you're sending a powerful message to the quantum field. And remember, the field is always listening, ready to respond to the energy you put out. So trust the process. Be persistent and feel deeply the life you wish to create. The universe is already aligning with you. Here's a powerful insight. Gratitude is one of the highest vibrational emotions you can experience. When you are genuinely grateful, you align perfectly with the universe's abundance. In your meditations, cultivate a deep sense of gratitude as if your desired reality has already manifested. Some worry that focusing on their desired future means they are unhappy with their present, but that couldn't be further from the truth. In fact, the more you practice these meditative techniques, the more you'll come to value the present moment. The reality is that the present is all we ever truly have. The past is gone and the future hasn't yet arrived. All we possess is now and it's in this moment that we create our future. By focusing on your desired reality during meditation, you are actually enhancing your present moment, filling it with possibility, potential, and joy. As you do this, something remarkable happens. You begin to notice the beauty and wonder in your everyday life that you may have previously overlooked. You become more present, more aware, and more alive. When you release yourself from the grip of worrying about the future or regretting the past, you unlock the true power of the present moment. This is the paradox of creating your future. By immersing yourself fully in the now, you actually align more deeply with your desires. It's in this grounded state that inspiration arises, and from here, you take action toward your goals with clarity and purpose. Let's explore the concept of surrender, a principle many find difficult to grasp. We've been conditioned to believe that we must force things into being to exert our will on the world. But in the realm of manifestation, surrender is not about giving up, quite the opposite. It's a powerful form of trust. Surrendering is about acknowledging that you don't need to control every outcome. You hold your vision, maintain the energy of your desired reality, and trust that the universe will take care of the how. Think about planting a seed. You don't dig it up every day to check if it's growing. You simply trust in the process, provide water and sunlight, and allow nature to work its magic. This is how we approach our vision for the future. We plant seeds of possibility with our thoughts and emotions, nurturing them with faith and trust. Our job is not to obsess over the details or force the process. It's to stay present, patient, and to let go of the need to control. The beautiful truth is that the universe often has plans for us that far exceed anything we could imagine on our own. When you surrender, you open yourself to a field of infinite possibilities. You make room for miracles, those extraordinary events that stretch the limits of our current understanding of what's possible. In the quantum field of potential, anything can happen. Some might worry that focusing on their personal desires is selfish that they should put others first or aim to change the world. But let me tell you, your personal transformation is the greatest gift you can give to the world. As you raise your vibration and align with the abundance of the universe, you become a beacon for those around you. Your joy, your peace, your love radiate outward, inspiring others to elevate their own consciousness and pursue their dreams. When more individuals step into their highest potential, a ripple effect is created that has the power to transform the world. This is how real change happens, not through struggle or force, but through each of us stepping into our own greatness. So, never feel guilty for pursuing your dreams. Never think that your desires are too big, too grand. The universe is infinite and there is more than enough for everyone. When you tap into that boundless abundance, you become a channel for it, allowing it to flow not only to you but to others as well. Consistency is where the real transformation happens. It's easy to feel inspired by these ideas and meditate once or twice, feeling wonderful. But lasting change requires a daily commitment. It's like fitness. Going to the gym once a month won't give you results. You understand that it takes consistent effort. The same goes for meditation and visualizing your ideal reality. It's a mental and emotional workout that requires dedication. The beauty of this practice is that the more you engage with it, the easier it becomes. In the beginning, quiet Quieting your mind and focusing on your vision may feel difficult, but with persistence, it will become second nature. 
As you continue to practice, you'll notice subtle shifts in your life. You'll respond to challenges with more ease, staying calm and centered, knowing that everything is unfolding exactly as it should for your highest good. The key is consistency, showing up every day, trusting the process, and allowing the universe to work with you. You will start to recognize synchronicities, those magical moments when everything aligns perfectly. You'll be in the right place at the right time, meeting the people who can help you on your path. Most importantly, you will feel different. You will experience more joy, peace, and aliveness. When you are aligned with the infinite possibilities of life, you connect to the very essence of existence. A common misconception is that focusing on your desired reality means ignoring your current reality. This couldn't be further from the truth. It's not about escaping into a fantasy world or pretending problems don't exist. Instead, it's about broadening your awareness. You remain fully aware of your present circumstances while also holding space for your desired reality. You live in two worlds simultaneously, the world of what is and the world of what could be. This dual awareness is incredibly powerful. It allows you to take inspired action in your current reality while staying connected to your future vision. Imagine standing in two realities at once, one foot grounded in the present moment and the other reaching into the future. This is the art of bridging your current experience with your desired outcome. As you maintain this dual awareness, your present reality begins to shift, aligning more closely with the life you're envisioning moment by moment, pulling your future closer to the now. Many of us repeatedly engage in the same visualizations, the same affirmations, and sometimes we question whether we should be creating new visions or trying something different. But here's the truth. Repetition is the secret to mastery. Think of it like a musician who practices scales over and over again to perfect their instrument. In the same way, we refine our minds through repeated visualization. Each time you engage with your vision, you're strengthening neural connections in your brain, reinforcing the emotional connection to your future, and sending a more powerful signal to the quantum field. With each repetition, you might begin to notice new layers in your experience, more intense emotions, clearer insights, or a deeper connection to your vision. So, don't be discouraged by the repetition. Embrace it, for it's the tool that deepens your practice and strengthens your connection to the infinite possibilities life has to offer. Now, let's explore the idea of coherence. In physics, coherence is when all parts of a system work together in perfect harmony, creating a unified field of energy. When we apply this idea to our practice, coherence is about aligning your thoughts, feelings, and actions with the reality you desire to create. When these elements are in sync, they generate a powerful unified signal that amplifies your ability to manifest. Reaching this level of coherence takes practice and patience. Our thoughts and emotions often don't align. You might picture abundance in your mind, but your emotions still hold on to doubt or fear. These conflicting signals create static, disrupting the clarity needed for manifestation. That's why it's crucial to engage all aspects of yourself, your mind, your emotions, and your physical actions. Use visualization to vividly see your desired future, incorporate breathing exercises to evoke the feelings of already having it, and take inspired action that aligns with your vision. As you cultivate this coherence, manifestation becomes smoother and faster, like clearing the static that once blocked your signal. Now let's consider the role of the heart in this process. We often focus on the mind, thoughts, images, and affirmations. But the heart plays an equally significant role. The heart is more than a pump. It's an electromagnetic powerhouse. Its energy field is approximately 60 times stronger than the brain's, extending several feet around you in all directions. When we generate positive emotions like love, gratitude, and joy, we create coherence in the rhythms of the heart. This sends a powerful, harmonious signal into the quantum field that embodies the very essence of our desires. So as you meditate, don't just focus on visualization. Feel your desires deeply in your heart. Let the energy of love and gratitude radiate outward, amplifying the power of your practice. In everyday life, we often identify ourselves by our bodies, thoughts, emotions, and past experiences. But within the quantum field, this narrow sense of self dissolves. You are not just your body or your mind. You are a vast field of consciousness interconnected with all that exists. The more you realize this, the more you understand that your true power lies in the expansive awareness 
of your interconnectedness with everything in the universe. When you align with this higher state of being, you tap into the limitless potential of the quantum field where all things are possible. Your true essence is expansive, limitless, and without boundaries. When you tap into this higher, expanded version of yourself, you unlock an infinite array of possibilities. This is why it's crucial to let go of the old identities, the past stories, and the limitations you've carried up until now when you begin your quantum field meditation. You're not meditating as the person who has faced struggles or challenges. You are stepping into the version of you that exists in pure potential. Your highest self, your quantum self. This is where your true freedom lies, in releasing your past and aligning with the infinite potential that exists in the present moment. It's like shedding a constricting old suit and stepping into your natural, boundless state of being. Even when we're dedicated to our practice, we all encounter moments of difficulty. Does that mean we've failed? Not at all. Setbacks are simply part of the process. They are not signs of failure, but invitations to grow. Every challenge you face offers an opportunity to apply what you've learned, to respond with higher consciousness, and to choose a more empowered path forward rather than falling back into old, familiar patterns. The universe will often test your commitment to your intentions. When you face a setback, it's not about the setback itself. It's about how you respond. If you stand firm, unwavering in your faith and dedication to your vision, you signal to the universe that you are serious about your transformation. It's in these moments of challenge that breakthroughs often emerge. So, instead of fearing setbacks, embrace them. They are opportunities for deepening your practice, fortifying your resolve, and moving closer to the version of you that you are creating. Now let's explore the concept of time in the quantum field. In our everyday lives, we experience time as a linear progression, past, present, and future. But in the quantum field, time is not linear. All of time, your past, your present, and every potential future is happening simultaneously. This understanding can be incredibly liberating because it means you are not trapped by the events of your past. You are not defined by what has come before. At every moment, you have the power to choose a new path and step into a new version of yourself, a new timeline. The key is to focus on the future you wish to create. When you know exactly what you're doing and why you're doing it, that how becomes easier to grasp. I like to combine different branches of science and weave them into a framework that people can follow, something that resonates logically and scientifically. Now, here's the key. If you can explain this model to someone else, if you can articulate what you've learned, it means you've wired it into your brain. You're creating hardware. If you can't explain it, that means it's not embedded yet. And if it's not in your brain, how are you going to believe it's real for you? Right now, your brain is lighting up in entirely new ways, forming fresh neural networks, creating pathways for new possibilities. This is the mind in action, the brain actively reshaping itself. Every time you learn something new, your neurons begin firing together, laying the foundation for those new experiences. And here's where the real shift happens. It's not just about thinking differently, it's about aligning your actions with your intentions. When your thoughts and your behaviors are in harmony, that's when transformation begins to take root. Think about this. Every time you engage deeply in learning, your brain is physically changing. Research shows that within an hour of focused attention, thousands of new synaptic connections are formed. Thousands. But here's the thing. If you don't revisit what you've learned, those connections start to fade. So, learning is just the first step. Real transformation comes from nurturing those new neural circuits, revisiting and reinforcing them until they become a part of who you are. This is the process you're stepping into right now, a journey of transformation that starts in this very moment. And as you lean into it, you're about to uncover a profound truth that can reshape your entire reality, the law of assumption. This universal principle is one of the most powerful forces driving your life. It's rooted in the understanding that what you assume to be true deep within you manifests as the world around you. Whether it's beliefs about yourself, others, or life itself, those assumptions act as the blueprint for your reality. When you truly grasp this, you begin to see the immense power you hold. Want to change your life? 
Start by changing the assumptions you carry. By aligning your thoughts, emotions, and energy with the outcomes you desire, you begin to draw those experiences into your reality. It's not about wishing or hoping. It's about assuming that what you desire is already yours. You move through life with the confidence, the gratitude, and the certainty that it's already done. And when you embody that state of being, the universe responds in kind. Let me ask you this. What if everything you're experiencing right now is a direct reflection of what you believe on the deepest levels? This isn't some abstract or mystical concept. It's a principle grounded in how consciousness shapes reality. Every moment, your inner world is creating your outer experience. It might sound extraordinary, even hard to believe at first, but science, particularly quantum physics, supports this. It shows us that simply observing something influences its nature. That means your awareness, your consciousness, directly impacts the reality around you. This is the heart of the law of assumption. What you believe to be true, deep within, becomes your reality. But this isn't about superficial wishing or idle daydreaming. It's about deeply embodying the feelings, emotions, and certainty of your desired outcome. When you carry the energy, the mindset, and the actions of someone who already has what they want, you align yourself with the frequency of that reality. You create coherence between your mind and body, and in that state, you open the door for the universe to mirror your desires back to you. So, I'll ask you again. What if the life you're living right now is simply a reflection of your internal beliefs? And if that's true, imagine the power you have to rewrite your story by shifting those beliefs, one thought, one feeling, one action at a time. The future you want is already waiting. It's just about becoming the person who's ready to step into it. Think back to a moment in your life when you were absolutely certain of something, a test you knew you'd ace, a job you were sure you'd land, or a goal you just knew you'd achieve. That deep sense of certainty wasn't a coincidence. It was the law of a in action. You weren't just wishing for it. You believed in it so fully that it became inevitable. Now imagine applying that same unshakable confidence to every area of your life. Your health, your relationships, your finances, your dreams. Imagine stepping into a reality where you already have everything you desire. Close your eyes and see it. Feel it. Make it so vivid in your mind that it feels as real as the world around you. Hear the sounds, feel the sensations, and experience the emotions of living that life. When you do this, your body begins to respond as if it's already happening. This is where most people stumble. They think about what they want, but they don't feel it. They keep their desires at arm's length, imagining them as distant possibilities instead of present realities. The truth is, to harness the law of assumption, you must embody the future you want. You have to live from that future reality, not toward it. Let me give you an example. If financial freedom is your goal, don't just daydream about having more money. Step into the feeling of abundance right now. What would it feel like to wake up free of financial worry, to give generously without hesitation, to see every opportunity as one you can afford? Allow that sense of freedom and gratitude to saturate your entire being. When you fully assume this reality is true, your thoughts, emotions, and actions will naturally shift to align with it. You'll begin making choices and taking steps that reflect this new state of being. And as you do, the universe will mirror that energy back to you. But here's the key. The law of assumption isn't about forcing outcomes or trying to control the timing. It thrives in a state of relaxed awareness, where you trust that your desires are already on their way to you. You don't have to micromanage the how or the when. Instead, you allow your future reality to unfold as you stay grounded in the certainty that it's already yours. Now, you might be wondering, what about my current reality? What about my challenges, my bills, or my relationships? And that's a fair question. But here's the truth. Your current circumstances are not the ultimate measure of who you are. They're simply a reflection of your past assumptions. The power lies in the assumptions you hold now. Those are what shape your future. The real challenge is staying anchored in your vision when your present moment feels like it's pulling you in the opposite direction. That's the test, and it's where true mastery begins. Think of it like tuning a radio. Right now, you might be stuck on a frequency of lack, doubt, or struggle, but your dream life is already broadcasting on another channel. Your job is to shift your focus, your assumptions, and your energy until you're in harmony with that higher frequency. And the way you tune in? Consistency. 
The law of assumption isn't something you do once and forget. It's a daily practice of aligning your thoughts, feelings, and actions with your vision. So let me ask you this. If you already had everything you've ever wanted, how would you feel? How would you behave? What choices would you make? That's the energy you need to cultivate starting now, not someday when circumstances improve, but in this exact moment. Yes, it takes effort. Rewiring your brain and breaking free from old thought patterns isn't always easy. But here's the beauty. Your brain is endlessly adaptable. Every time you choose to believe in your desired reality, you're strengthening new neural pathways, making that belief a part of who you are. With repetition, this becomes your natural state, your new default. Stay consistent, stay aligned, and watch as the universe rises to meet you, manifesting your vision in ways you never imagined possible. So how do you tap into this law to create the life you want? First, get clear on your desired outcome. Define what you truly want, whether it's success, love, health, or abundance. Be specific. Visualize it with such clarity that you can see it, hear it, feel it. What does it look like? How does it feel in your body? This isn't just about seeing the outcome. It's about experiencing it as if it's already real. Next, assume it's already yours. This step is key. Uh, feel the emotions that come with having what you desire now. Not tomorrow, not next year, but in this moment. The law responds to your feelings, your energy, not just your thoughts. Cultivate the emotions of that future reality. Feel joy, gratitude, abundance, whatever reflects the state you want to live in. Third, you must release doubt. Mastering the law of assumption means letting go of limiting beliefs. When those doubts or fears creep in, and they will, challenge them. Replace those old thoughts with new affirmations that align with the reality you're creating. Speak the truth of your desired state into existence. To truly step into your vision, you must act in alignment with it. It's not enough to think about it or feel the emotions of having it. You must embody it through your actions. Ask yourself, if you already had everything you desired, how would you carry yourself? How would you speak, move, and make decisions? When your actions mirror your beliefs, you create a powerful resonance that accelerates manifestation. The universe is always reflecting your energy back to you, so why not consciously align with the reality you want to create? Here's a truth that's both humbling and empowering. The law of assumption is always at work, whether you're aware of it or not. Your assumptions, positive or negative, are shaping your life in every moment. So why not assume the best? Why not trust that what you desire is already on its way to you? When you do this, you open the door for extraordinary possibilities. Start small. Assume you'll have a great day. Assume opportunities will flow to you. As these small miracles unfold, your belief in the process will deepen. From there, expand your vision. Assume radiant health, financial freedom, and deeply fulfilling relationships. But here's the key. Don't wait for external evidence to confirm your belief. True transformation begins when you realize that your belief creates the evidence, not the other way around. This isn't about ignoring your current circumstances or pretending challenges don't exist. It's about choosing to focus your energy on the future you want to create. Reflect for a moment. Everything in your life right now, whether it's your career, relationships, or finances, is the result of your past assumptions. Some of those were conscious, but many were unconscious. You've been using the law of assumption all along, perhaps without realizing it. The difference now is awareness. With awareness comes the power to redirect this law toward your greatest desires. And once you grasp this truth, everything changes. You'll no longer feel like a victim of circumstance. You'll understand that your future isn't bound by your past. It's shaped by the assumptions you choose to hold right now. You are the creator of your reality, not your boss, not your family, not external conditions like the economy, just you. Your thoughts, beliefs, and feelings are the architects of your experience. And while this realization can feel like an immense responsibility, it's also deeply liberating. If you've created your current reality, you can create any reality you desire. The only limit is what you believe is possible. And here's the best part. This power isn't reserved for a select few. It's not something you have to earn or strive for. It's your birthright. It's the very essence of your consciousness. You've simply forgotten how to wield it effectively. Think of a child immersed in their imagination. They don't doubt whether their fantasy is real. They just believe it fully and completely. In that moment for them, it is real. That's the kind of certainty you need to cultivate now. A deep, unwavering belief in your ability to create. So, 
why isn't everyone using this law if it's so simple? Because most people are trapped in old patterns of thought, assumptions of limitation, struggle and lack, without even realizing it. But now you're different. You're awake to a truth that most overlook. You've stepped into a higher level of awareness, and that awareness places the power squarely in your hands. You're in the driver's seat now. By taking control of your assumptions, you've already set the stage for profound transformation. But how do you begin? How do you channel this incredible power into a life beyond what you've imagined? Everything begins with awareness. Take a moment to truly examine the assumptions you're carrying right now. What beliefs are running the show? What stories do you tell yourself about who you are, what you're capable of, and what your future holds? Are these beliefs lifting you up or are they anchoring you to the same old patterns? If they're keeping you stuck, it's time to rewrite the script. Here's the key. You have the power to choose new assumptions and those assumptions will shape your reality. So why not assume the best? See yourself as capable, worthy, and deserving of all the abundance life has to offer. Imagine a world overflowing with opportunities that flow to you naturally, effortlessly. Now, this is where the process often feels uncomfortable. These new assumptions might not feel true right away, and that's okay. Your old beliefs have been deeply ingrained, operating beneath the surface for years. They'll resist change, but that resistance is a sign that transformation is happening. The secret? Begin to live as if your new assumptions are already true. This is where real change takes root. When you act in alignment with your new beliefs, you start attracting experiences that reflect them. For instance, if you're cultivating financial abundance, don't think of it as reckless spending or pretending you're someone you're not. Acting wealthy is about embodying the mindset of someone who already feels secure and prosperous. That means practicing gratitude, making wise decisions, and being generous with what you have. As you align your actions with this mindset, you'll start to notice shifts, a new opportunity, an unexpected gift, or a chance encounter that leads to something meaningful. These are the early signs that your new belief system is taking hold. But here's the catch. Don't let yourself get fixated on finding signs. You're not chasing proof. The process works in reverse. Your belief must come first, and the evidence will follow. Hold firm in your new assumptions, no matter what your current reality looks like. This requires persistence. The law of assumption isn't a shortcut or a quick fix, it's a lifestyle. Challenges will arise, old thoughts will try to resurface, the present moment might tempt you to doubt. But in these moments, remind yourself what you're experiencing now is merely the result of your past thoughts. It has no power over the future you're creating unless you allow it. Stay focused on your vision, feel it, live it, let it become your new default way of being. And here's one of the most important pieces of the puzzle, detachment. You have to release any anxiety, impatience, or need to control the timing of how things will unfold. Imagine planting a seed. Once it's in the soil, you don't dig it up every day to see if it's sprouted. You trust the process, nurturing it with water and sunlight, knowing it will grow in its own time. Your assumptions work the same way. Once you've planted them, let them take root. Trust they're working behind the scenes, even when you don't see immediate results. Detachment creates space for receiving. If you're obsessively searching for proof or worrying about how things will come to be, you're tuning into a frequency of lack. Instead, stay grounded in the feeling that your desires are already yours. Feel abundant, feel fulfilled, feel complete. When you maintain that inner state, your outer world will begin to reflect it. This is where many people stumble. They try to force their desires into existence or chase after outcomes. But the work isn't about forcing, it's about aligning. It's about tuning your internal state to the frequency of your future self. Your inner world, the thoughts you think, the emotions you feel, the beliefs you hold, is the signal you're broadcasting to the universe. And when you consistently feel the joy, gratitude, and abundance of already having what you want, the universe has no choice but to mirror that back to you. Visualization is a powerful tool to help you do this. When you vividly imagine your desired reality, your body responds as if it's already happening. You begin to generate the emotions, the energy that match that vision. And here's the science. Positive thoughts and emotions don't just affect your mind, they impact your body. They can boost your immune system, alter your gene expression, and literally rewire your brain. So you're not just changing your thoughts, you're changing your entire being. But let me 
be clear, this isn't about forcing positivity or pretending everything's perfect. It's about choosing where to direct your energy. Instead of battling against your doubts or negative thoughts, gently shift your focus. Aim your energy toward what you want to create, not what you're afraid of. This is the path to mastery. The more you live from this space of empowered assumption, the more your life will reflect it back to you. Every day is a chance to choose your reality, so why not choose one that aligns with the highest version of yourself? Think of your mind like a garden. Where do you direct your energy? Are you nurturing the vibrant, thriving plants, or are you locked in a battle with the weeds? The same principle applies to your thoughts. Instead of wasting energy on what you don't want, pour your focus into cultivating the thoughts that uplift you, that align with the life you're creating. Now this brings up a question many people have. What about other people? What if their beliefs or actions seem to contradict your vision? Here's the truth. Your reality is entirely your own creation. It's a projection of your assumptions, not theirs. Once you grasp this, you stop trying to change others. You no longer need their validation or agreement. Instead, you hold a vision of them that aligns with the life you're designing. And here's the fascinating part. When you shift your assumptions about someone, they'll often start to show up in a way that matches your new belief. If they don't, they'll naturally fade from your life. This isn't manipulation. It's liberation. It's understanding that you don't need anyone else to change for your world to change. The power is entirely within you. Every experience you've had, good, bad, or neutral, has been a reflection of your own internal beliefs. That's not a burden, it's an incredible gift because it means you can rewrite the script at any moment. Now let's talk about taking action. One of the biggest misconceptions about the law of assumption is that it's about sitting back and waiting for things to happen. But true belief naturally inspires action. When you assume something is already real, your actions align effortlessly with that belief. It's not about forcing yourself to take steps. It's about flowing with the energy of already being that version of you. For example, if you believe you're a successful entrepreneur, you'll instinctively start behaving like one. You'll find yourself networking, creating, and seizing opportunities. Not because you're trying, but because it feels natural. Or if you assume health, you'll naturally make choices that align with that reality. Choices that feel good, not like an obligation. And as you live from this place of alignment, you'll notice that the universe begins to organize around you. Doors open, connections are made, life feels less like a struggle and more like an exciting flow. But don't just take my word for it, test it. Start small, assume something simple and believable into being. Feel the joy and gratitude of it as if it's already real. And when it manifests, stretch further. Push the boundaries of what you thought was possible. The only limits in your life are the ones you impose through your assumptions. So. Why not assume boundless potential? Why not see yourself living a life beyond your wildest dreams? Now this brings us to one of the most critical aspects of this process, your self-concept. Your self-concept is the foundation of every assumption you hold. It's the core belief system you carry about who you are and what you're capable of. If deep down you believe you're unworthy, undeserving, or incapable, those limiting beliefs will sabotage your efforts to create something new. You can't build a masterpiece on a shaky foundation. To truly transform, you must elevate your self-concept. Start seeing yourself as someone worthy of all the good life has to offer. Assume that you are capable of achieving anything you set your mind to. Know that you are valuable, loved, and deserving. These aren't fantasies. They're reflections of your true essence beneath the layers of doubt and fear. And as you align with this elevated self-concept, you'll find it becomes easier and more natural to hold positive assumptions about every area of your life. Now, a concern I hear often is, what if I assume something and it doesn't happen? Won't I just be setting myself up for disappointment? This fear comes from a misunderstanding of how the process works. When you live from the energy of assumption, you're not anxiously waiting for proof. You're already living in the feeling of having it. Whether your desire has physically shown up yet or exists only in your mind, you've already claimed it energetically. Disappointment only arises when you believe the outer world holds more power 
than your inner reality. But remember, the outer world is always catching up to your inner state. If you hold steady in your assumptions, if you nurture them with consistency and trust, the physical world will eventually align with the frequency you've been broadcasting. So let go of the urgency. Stop digging up the seeds to check if they're growing. Tend to your inner garden with patience and faith, knowing that the harvest is inevitable. You are the creator of your experience. Everything begins within you. Start now in this moment to assume the best for yourself. Your future is waiting and it's being shaped by the assumptions you choose today.